Hey, we're playing Mad About You. Again. By Belinda Carlisle. Straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play with us. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. After the song, I'll do a basic tutorial together with a slow motion close-up play along you might find helpful. Final thing, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. You want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you want hundreds more uh, free downloadable ukulele song sheets, check out our Dropbox. And then look at our meetup page and come play with us. Five, six, seven, and... Okay, I'm mad about you. Here goes. Um, several different parts to this song. Uh, it's it's most of the song is a really really simple song. I mean C F C F C F C F C G, right? That's that is like ninety percent of the song. Um, but the thing that makes it not boring is that different parts of the song have different amounts of energy, and so by playing different strums you can give those parts of the song different energy and make them uh, sound different, give them different coloring. Even if you're just playing one instrument, even if it's just you singing and playing, you don't have to like bring in the horn section or, or have the, the rock drummer you know, come in at a, at a certain spot. You're basically doing all that with your own uh, acoustic four strings. Okay, intro. Intro is the hardest part of the song. It's not hard. But the intro is the hardest part of the song. It might take a little practice. I had to practice it so I wouldn't screw up. And then I did screw up. But, you know, I practiced this some more. Anyway. All right. I do this with two... Okay, I guess I do it with three fingers. I put my thumb on my fourth string. Fourth counting from the ground. That's how people count strings. So I put my thumb there because I don't need it at this part. 
and then I use two fingers, these two, to do this regular beat. Like that. And then I gotta pick up my, my thumb because I wanna give the, I wanna make the entire uh, chord ring, right? But so what I'm doing, I basically form the C with my, with my pinky, I believe. I think that's how I do it. So the first line, right? Now I'm gonna strum with my index finger, just right there. You notice I got my, I'm just leaving my, my pinky there. I don't know why I'm not, I'm not plucking it anymore, but it, I think it gives me some stability on my left hand to leave one thing stuck to the ukulele while I'm, while I'm plucking the rest. Sorry. And then it actually stays. The pinky stays right there while I drop an F. It's actually a second position F, right? And now I'm finally going to change it. Back to the C. I'm at about... So all the tab is written in, there, written in there. You can play it as slowly as you want. I'll play it slowly close up at the, at the end of this tutorial, and you can play along with me. But you can play it over, you know, 50 times till you get it right. If you really love the song, then it's worth it because it makes it more fun to be able to start the song that way. But so then, remember I said there's a bunch of different uh, sort of flavors and colors of the strum. They are sort of a variation on the same strum because they all have the emphasis on like a backbeat, right? The, the strongest backbeat is the second one. I'll, I'll do that one first. In fact, the persistent, I call it a persistent chucking strum, right? So it's, it's the backbeat, the second and fourth downs are the, are the chuck. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep this on the C, right? And I'm gonna do the chuck. Now this is where I'm saying second and fourth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's why it's called the backbeat. First, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. It's kind of a standard rock and roll thing. So that's it. That is the persistent chucking strum. There is no pause, and the emphasis, the the chuck, is on the second and fourth. During the chorus, I do exactly the same thing, except instead of chucking. I just make that down strum, that where it would have been a chuck, I make that down strum the emphasized one. So, uh, I'll just do the C. I'll keep with the state, the C. So again, it's... I'm hitting it harder, and I'm actually using more fingernails, too. <laughs> that is to say, when the down strum comes, it comes with my fingernails, so it comes hard, and in between there, I... I'm only using one or two fingers. And it's really not that important to focus on that. I would say the focus should be on the strong strum. Make sure you use all your fingernails, right? Earlier than that, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you can use all your fingernails if you want, as long as you play light enough. Or you can remind yourself to play lighter by only using one finger, whatever. Strong one is noticeably stronger, and the way you can make it noticeably stronger is by making sure you use all your fingers, as well as uh, as possibly more force. Right. So the chorus is that I called it a backbeat strum without the chuck. is still on the backbeat, second and fourth. The intro, though, or the, the start of the verse is different. And I do this uh, also in the at the very, very end, right before we do the four, chorus four more times. I only do this, the first half of the first verse, and then the first half of the first verse played at the very end of the song. The emphasis is a pause. I know that sounds weird. I've just been emphasizing, right? <laughs> or chucking. Well, 
when you first start the lyrics, it's the pause. 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 That's what I call the smooth strum, right? It's, it's just a smooth strum, and it doesn't have the backbeat. The backbeat is missing. That's where the pause is, right? So I'm mad about you. You're mad about me, babe. A couple of fools run wild, aren't we? Now, sound, listen to this, the contrast. Right? Going from a pause to a chuck is a big contrast. And then you go to a full off thing. So it kind of builds up energy. So you get to the chorus and it's wild with energy. Because we're mad about each other, you know. So, of course, it should be. All right. Uh, that's it. Now, chord transitions. Starts with a C, right? F. But in the, in the verse, so I'm going from an F to I'm mad about you, you're mad about me, babe. I call this a second position F because it's an F, but I leave my finger down on the C. And it's easy to do. You're going back and forth. Just leave your pinky there. That's all. Drop the F. C. Drop the F. C. That's all you have to do. And it gives you this consistent sort of a drone sound. Which makes it a little bit more authentic to, uh, to the original. And that's it. That's the second, I call it a second position F because it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, they're all Fs. It's all the same chord. And if you have a hard time doing that, you can just play an F. But in this transition, because you already have your pinky on the C, this is a first. This is a great place to start playing. You know, up the neck, because all you have to do is is actually an easier transition to just drop the pink uh, your other fingers and then pick them back up again. So, chord transitions from F to C and then F two. Between the two, we start to C. Now you're dropping. Uh, you're going completely from one to dropping three more. But at least they're right there. They can be right there hovering over your pinky, ready to drop in place. So hopefully G is also one of the first chords you, you uh, learn. So hopefully C to G isn't, isn't too crazy of a transition. But then from the G to a second position, F, might be harder for you. Whenever you see in any of my song sheets, if you see a little superscripted number like this second position F, you can always ignore it. If you want to play a straight F, instead of playing the second position F, you can do it, and nobody will even notice. So, because it won't be wrong. It's the same chord. It is. But so, between the two, we start to see. If you want, you can go straight to an F, right? But the way I wrote it and the way I play it. C, mad about you, mad about you. So, I'm going straight to an F, a second position F, and then I just pick up for a C. Lost in your eyes, reason aside. And that is all the chord transitions there are, except for the interlude. The interlude has a, introduces two more chords that aren't hard, A minor and D minor. But that's the only place where we play them. So, in the interlude, I'm doing the chucking strum. The F. And after the second line, the A minor, all I'm doing is pick these up, and the, I already have the A minor right there, right? That my, uh, my ring finger, excuse me, my, my middle finger is already stuck on the A minor. And my, if I don't pick my fingers up that far, my pinky is still right there at the C. And I don't know what to say. D minor, I am, in fact, dropping three additional fingers down, but it's a, a pretty solid state. You know what? Yeah, this is simply four chords in quick transition that have nothing to do with each other. I mean, they sound nice together, but they aren't connected on the ukulele with like anchor fingers or anything like that. Sorry, just gonna have to pick up your fingers and do it. But so A minor, my pinky is kind of hovering over the C. And now to a D minor, while my finger's still on the C, my fingers are kind of hovering over the D minor. And then yes, you have to pick them all up again but they don't have to move very far. And hopefully the G is uh, a chord you're familiar with if you've been playing for more than two weeks. Well, that's the entire song. That's the entire song. I'm not gonna waste any more time talking about it, but I will, in slow motion, play from the start of the song 
through the chorus. Just once, but I'll play it in slow motion, close up on my left hand so that you can follow every single four chord transition. So if you're having trouble doing it full speed, follow along with me in slow motion. And here goes. I'm gonna start with the intro. Remember I got my thumb stuck to the fourth, fourth string for the first line. Here it goes, slow motion. Five, six, seven, and... Wednesday.